no further delay, I'd like to welcome my pops to the show. Baby Brian B. Bubba Stunner Williams, but y'all could call him Birdman and put some respect on his fucking name. How you, man? What's up, Mula? I'm yeah. Bully. How you good? <laughs> you already know. Bro. Yeah, man. How little B? How real? Man, Brian, good, man. Graduating from college, man. That's what I know, man. <laughs> Got his own little spot. You heard me? Man, man, what, man? <laughs> <laughs> We'll graduate next year, bro. You know what I'm about to know you the dead moonlight. You already know I love him, man. What's up with Slim? How Jank? He good, bro. He, he laying low. You know, he, you know, Slim had that open heart back in the G, so he been really just staying out the it's way. Especially staying out the way doing this shit, right? Yeah. Yeah. Where you at with it? What you been working I'm, on lately? And I just been um just trying to just keep shit together, moonlight. You hear me? Yeah. Um, just dugging it out, bro. You know what I mean? Ain't nothing changed. Same old shit. You know, I'm in it forever, bro. West, I'm st- West Coast? Yeah, I'm on the West Side. Yeah, yeah it's, it's, Wait, I mean, it's spiking it's a, out there, but it's worse out here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All this shit everywhere, though, bro. Shit yeah. crazy. The fuck going on, bro? Um, now, a few, a few weeks ago, I had Burn on here. He had told me you and him came up with a plan to keep me in the studio all the time. I ain't never knew nothing about that. What what he was talking about? What's the reasoning behind that? What are you talking about? I really used to speak with Bun a lot, like just oh, yeah? asking. You know, there was up, there was up before us, right? And he's one of the first niggas that ever really embraced us. He exactly. Saw yeah, he did. And, and um, I just really was trying to really just get myself and y'all out the streets because I know everybody was pecking at the streets. So I just felt like. I'm going to make, th- this going to be the new streets for us, the studio. This is where we're going to eat, sleep, shit. Everything we're going to do, we're going to do it in the studio. Yeah. Ain't no, oh, you over here, over there. Nah, we're going to be in the motherfucking studio. Sun up, sun down. As soon as you get out of school, this is where we at. It ain't, everybody know we on Canal Street. Yeah. <laughs> we on Canal Street. Deep. Deep <laughs> in whole, that pitch. <laughs> the whole motherfucking. That fucking hook. elevator so deep. We so deep on the fight. <laughs> I, I, I always tell people how Slim, he pretty much came up with my performance routine when we was on tour back in the days. What you think made made him switch it up like that? You know, Slim, he a great observer. And he used to be like, when we started that shit, he used to be coming out. And he, yeah. he was like, ah, whole Wayne for last. You know, you always with the little nigga that everybody loved, even the people love. You know what I mean? It was so, just the energy, man. You know what I mean? So Slim was like, let's act like he ain't here. Yeah. And when you do come out, that shit worked. And we ain't turned back since. I remember that For nigga real. told you, man, take that fucking take shirt off. Take that fucking off. shirt off. Yeah, man. I was like, fuck, all right. And put that <laughs> bitch back on since, you know? <laughs> That man made me take that shirt off shooting that fucking Black is High video with that fucking fake rain. Man, yeah. that fucking water was so cold, jank. I'm like, jank, man, that fucking water so cold. That man would not let me shoot that shit without my shirt. I mean, take, keep your shirt off, man. That man really had it. He thought I was Pac or something, man. Yeah. Man, for real, for real. Now, definitely. I know a lot of people don't know um, what we went through early in the '90s before we got the major deal. I heard mm-hmm. you. I, I heard you want to speak on the sacrifices we made to get Cash Money off the ground and shit. You and Man, Sam. I was just early on. I just was trying to get out the streets. I wanted to do something different, and I chose music. And then, you know, I already knew BG because he was from around the way. Mm-hmm. You came. And to me, all y'all was pecking at the streets, you know, coming in New Orleans. Just like I thought I'd have been dead at 15 because I was in the streets real deep. Mm-hmm. And I thought by the time I got 20, I'll be dead. You know, right. that's how we were raised. They're going to die young. Yeah. But I want that for y'all. Right. So I wanted to do something and see if we could make it in music. Mm-hmm. And we stuck with that plan and that shit ended up working for us. Now, now, which young artist in the game now you think God would it take to be around for a minute? I like that little nigga. I like Thugger for sure. Yeah. I like Future. But I think NBA Youngboy going to be one of the biggest artists we okay. ain't seen. That. Okay. You like Youngboy. I, I said this five years ago, this little boy was going to be super special. Oh, you been heard him? Yeah, I've been with him. I've okay. been with him since for 16. Okay. But I think he's going to be one of the biggest artists we didn't seen. Little baby, little baby. I, I was about to say what y'all just about to ask you what you think about little baby. Shout out to P over there when he doing a great job with little yeah, baby. Yeah, he is. He remind me of you a lot too. Yeah, nah, they got the same formula. Yeah, you know I mean? go the same shit, sure, bro. Yeah, so, for real, for real. I think little baby promising too, but 
something about the NBA is different. Got that? He got the melodies. He got he the melodies. Just, Once he learned to turn that into, he gonna turn it into that shit. Gonna blossom to something else. Watch. And the little nigga just twenty. He just turned twenty. Yeah, he's so very he, young too. Yeah. I, I, you know, by, when you was twenty, you was big. But I think by the time he get twenty five, he gonna be something we ain't seen yet in the game. Yeah, I, I say he's gonna blossom into something else. That's what I just said. Now. Also, back in the days, you y'all used to give us the topics like Tuesdays and Thursdays, and Slim and Manny would be on us about shit like the ad libs and shit. You think yeah. you think the shit changed up now? Where being that critical of this shit, you think that's like dead? Like as far as artist development, niggas ain't into that shit no more. Nah, niggas doing some different shit. Niggas doing whatever the fuck what they, they want. want. That's why, yeah. Yeah, I mean, how we did it back in the G, we were just learning. I remember we didn't even know how to do sixteen. Exactly. Right yeah, I remember learning how to, I remember, to this day, I remember, I still, the way we count them, my engineers counted, told, they counted, I guess, the, the real way, I still counted the way we was taught, shit, yeah. so they be sitting there looking, at, we always getting it wrong in this motherfucker, <laughs> trying to figure when, out what, add a little, we ain't know nothing about none of that shit, yeah, but, but Slim and Fresh used to stay on us about the ad libs, though, that, they was, they were serious about that shit. You were telling us about songs, man, y'all ain't making fucking songs, Songs, man. yeah, yeah. <laughs> A hook, a chorus. You know what I mean? We were like, man, what the fuck? Nigga just want rap. We just want rap. Nigga just want. Nigga don't know when to stop. Nigga, nigga you like, nigga, gotta do sixteen bars. You eating the whole fucking song, nigga. Up to you. So I always say a nigga hungry is when he rap and the song off. That nigga hungry. You when said I the song that, off. That nigga the, the beat and stop, stop and he's still, and still going. Yeah, I, I had a thing for that. Yeah. You know what I mean? You was the first nigga I ever seen do that. And, and used to say, feed me rap, feed me beats, feed you heard me, whatever yeah. you did. But it was real. So when I see young niggas doing that, I be like, he hungry, for real. That's what it is. Now, a lot of them, hopefully, a lot of them get that shit from a young nigga like me. Off top. You, you, you heard me? You, you treated, a lot of them got your whole, whole flow. I mean, we really taught niggas the game. Well, I gave you the game. Oh, I, showed you also, I showed you how to do this shit and how we supposed to do it by not risking our life. Exactly. Let's be in the studio. Everything. Now, where, Uncle, where Uncle Joe at? Where Uncle Joe Casey at? Them boys up town. <laughs> yeah, they still. What about? Boys. What did I tell you so Bobby, man? Man, when I went up town, I saw Bobby. Freckle face still moving around. Them I had. Ma say he be seeing him around the uh, courthouse and shit. Yeah, you know, that's his spot, the bells bomb and all that shit. He still running out that shit? Yeah, he's still over there, man. I be talking to Lack all the time, you hear me? You be talking to Lack? Yes, indeed. Man, man tell like, like I said, what's up, man? That like got a whole ballroom on the back on the next block from Gladys. That bitch called Lack on the back. Yeah, <laughs> man. Ah! <laughs> tell that man, <laughs> stop it, man. Please, man. For real, boy, got a Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. That bitch be packed. <laughs> he ain't got a Friday, Saturday, <laughs> Tell that bitch I need a meal. I'm coming that bitch for a minute, for a million hours. <laughs> I'm walking through that bitch and back out that bitch. I said, one day we gonna pull up around that motherfucker boy. He can see in the back of he can see in the back of glasses. It's called lack in the back. <laughs> <laughs> lack on the back. Lack yeah. on the man. This man, wow, man. Uh, that be during the pandemic. I heard you and Slim pay like a hundred, hundred pieces on people uptown renting shit. Tell us about that. Man, you know that shit was always a fantasy for me, Moo. Like you know, y'all was trying to buy the Magnolia back then. They back then, I y'all yeah, already know, yeah. But when I got this, this that shit was real though. Just really from the heart, you know. We've been giving mm -hmm. back. We were stealing out the motherfucking stores way back, so we've been really giving back twenty five mm -hmm. years, but. That shit there, when people losing their lives, because I lost a lot of people that really, that lady who, Miss Antoinette, who really, really raised me. Like, because I come from out of foster home mm -hmm. at like yeah. eight, nine years old. Yeah. And this woman took me in. She died, her son died, her, like, she died one day, and four or five of her kids died back to back to back to yeah. back to back. So that shit was real for me. And like, I want to pay everybody rent in all the projects. And really, I want to buy all the projects. That's one of my goals for. The rest of my life, I'm gonna purchase all the projects and let every, in New Orleans and let everybody live for free. That's one of my That'd goals. That'd be my dope life. if they don't try to knock them bitches down out there. You know they keep trying to knock them bitches oh, down and turn, and turn them into condos and push the, push a nigga out them bitches and you know that's what they be trying to do. They still they still 
considered under the project's names, though. So, you know, just saying to know, even if there is condos, because they're still under those Section 8 programs. Okay, I, mean, I, th I thought they did. I thought, I, thought they was, I thought they pushed those people out, and, like, I thought they was, like, condos and shit now. Nah, and they let them back in, but it's okay. still under the program. That's what's up. That's what's up. Nah, but most likely, I know the, the uh, turkey giveaway, you won't, you ain't going to be able to do that shit this year, right? Because of the... Nah. Um, any nah. any way, to, any plans to still make sure the families get food this year? I ain't even think about it yet, because I don't know if we're going to be able to do it. So it's I so different. It's so Everything's so fucking difficult in day by day right now. I just took it as though just paying the rent. I do something like that. I think that's cool. And I also... With Q93, I gave away a thousand dollars a day for like two, three months, just to give away just, gift just cards. To, just, yeah, that's what's up. That's awesome, B. For real, for real. Without man, I saw you had gave gave two hundred two also. Yeah, you know, niggas do what they can when they can. Real rap. For real. real. A lot of other companies we started out with faded out a long time ago. That started out before us, or started out either right with us, around the same time they gone. Tell her, tell the people what we did and how we did it to stay around for twenty plus years. Man, we kept the focus first, and I watched this shit right. Mula was watching all these labels fall wayside. I never forget, bro. We was at the house, and um, that's when all this hot boy shit happened. And you said. Man, I was kind of in my feelings about this shit. You mm. said, man, fuck them niggas. I remember that. I'm better than all them niggas anyway. Yeah, I remember that, yeah. <laughs> I said, what, for real, man, that shit hit an antenna. Then Jay-Z said he retired. The next day we shot that video. And i never forget, Nas had an album coming out. He said, hip-hop is dead. Yeah. I'm like, what? Man, I'm about to go hard. You <laughs> heard me? And from there on, I just saw the lane was open, like, for, it wasn't no more CEOs. That shit was dead. We ain't have no more CEOs. All them boys had to fell wayside. And then you did what you did. And I was like, man, we're going to take this shit. Mm -hmm. At first, I was just looking at us getting out the ghetto. Mm -hmm. But then I seen that we really, really could do this shit, Moolah. And get the fuck, and about, and get the fuck about New Orleans, period. <laughs> I remember you was like, man, I should have been left home, man, right after college. I was like, man, I was in Texas. And you was like, man, come to Miami. I yeah. came and went to look back. Yeah. I told you that shit. I, I went out there on a fucking told a nigga. I tell a nigga every time we came out here on a motherfucker for a show, B. We came out here for a show and it was like Memorial Weekend. So the promoter of the show, he couldn't get us in the hotel. So he took it upon him himself to just go ahead and lease a damn condo because he said that he still was gonna make uh, he was gonna make more than that off of the the shows I was about to come down to do. So when I came down here and got the condo, I'm like, he was like, yeah, he told us the story. I never left since that weekend, B. I took the condo from him right then and there. Believe that. You stayed yeah, in Miami. I never bro. left. Yeah, I never left. Real talk. You the reason I, I was gone, I was in Texas. Yeah, you was. was. Yeah. <laughs> Shit, you know, New Orleans, a lot of New Orleans people still in Texas. Nigga. That's the yeah, second I'm home, not. for real. Atlanta, Texas. Now, on some sports shit, who you rocking with in basketball, football, and baseball right now? I'm forever sank, so I'm gonna live with that. Yeah, um, sorry to hear that. The <laughs> real draft, <laughs> uh -oh. man. I don't know Lakers, bro. They healthy. Um, I like Milwaukee. I do like Houston. I'm a big Westbrook fan. Mm -hmm. This shit gonna be tricky, bro. Everybody been at home. It might no no. I like Dallas too, cause they got some shit going on Maluka. over there. Luca, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Shit going over there, but. I think at the end of the day, man, Lakers are Clippers. Lakers are Clippers. But, like but from the other side, definitely Milwaukee. I think that Houston going to be interesting just because of the situation everybody they gonna have to they, that they all dealing with, just bubble and all that shit. And I think the way Houston play, that's exhausting for niggas. And Real yeah, awesome. that's exhausting. And and this, this like I think you know I don't, I, I'm, that's just my opinion I think that that shit gonna be real vital just because of the times right now that they dealing with you coming and in on that court and you running up and down like that on niggas niggas gonna be that, that shit is exhausting and that boy Harden been there he been there he just ain't get there yeah oh yeah yeah I think it be his time bro he definitely he should be, he should be way past hungry right now way For past real? I heard For you move, I heard you moving back to Stunner Island yeah, I, I got my house fixed up. 
I always wanted to go back home, though, Moolah. You know what I mean? Like, I really miss being home. But I love my city. I miss it. But I don't think I'm going to go there. But I don't, you know, I still got to come on the coast. I got a lot of business here. I got exactly. a lot of business here in Miami, too. So, I'm, you know, I'm going to just, I got a house in Miami, a house in New Orleans, a exactly. house in Atlanta, and one in New York. So, I'm going to just be everywhere. Exactly. I'm going to be out there in L.A. soon, too. I'm waiting on you. You already know. I'm coming. I'm getting a spot out there, so I'm going to be out there, out there. I'm waiting on you, man. You already know. Love you, man. Thanks for stopping by, bro. Always. Hey, Moolah, I got one thing I want to ask. Bro. What's good? I would like to do a father-son, too. Man, come on. You, you ain't got to ask. Come on, man. You That was not a question. Bro, talk. Say less, bro. Man, come on, man. You know I can say you six judge. You got to do number. Put your verses to him. You already know how I do, man. Real rap. That'll yeah. be. You know, like, I'm, I'm done rapping. Rapping ain't for me no more. I'm done with that shit. I like to make rappers. That's what I do. Yeah, you've real, been doing it. Real rap. So yeah. I just wanted to just be my little farewell thing. I want to go out. Say how less. I came. Say less. Real rap. I got Love it. You. Love you too. One. Ladies and gentlemen, Stunner put some respect on his motherfucking name. Again, this concludes episode 12.